Hi Libra, thank you for joining me for your love read for March 2024. So as always, this is a general reading, okay, so it's not necessarily going to resonate for every single one of you. You only take what resonates specifically for you and you leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? So we're taking a look at your person or your person of interest, energy towards you at this current point in time, okay? Right, so you've got a reversal. So many things remind me of you in reverse. You came closer than anyone and I don't react when people mention you, okay? And sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Interesting. Okay, so... With these reversals, this is random bit of plastic on that card then. Um, with these reversals, it indicates that this individual is trying to play things cool and coy. Okay, Libra. They're trying not to jump too far ahead of themselves. So they're trying to remain quite reserved when it comes down to the connection with you. Okay, they feel genuinely excited when they think of you but again it's like they're trying to play it cool and calm you know um they certainly trust you as well and that's something that they don't tend to say about many people okay so it's an individual it's like you've earned their trust and to earn this person's trust usually is a really difficult thing to do okay this person thinks about you constantly, they lie awake thinking about you, they're probably dreaming about you as well, uh, but they don't want to come across as being um, uh, too into it, if that makes sense, because it's like, you know when someone can come across too clingy, for example, in a connection, it can be quite a put off. Uh, rather than attractive, so that's why they're trying to play it cool, okay? Right, what's going on in their head space, their heart space, what are they challenged by? And what actions will they take towards Libra, please? Can have their head space first for Libra? Okay, what direction? Upright, okay. Page of Cups and the Moon. With the Seven of Coins. Okay, so they're definitely wanting to take things slow with you here, Libra, okay? Especially with the moon right next to the Seven of Coins. They absolutely do not want to rush anything, okay? They've got some kind of reservations here. I don't know if that's an actual reservation because they're wanting to take you out somewhere so they've reserved a place or if that's like emotionally they, they've got some kind of reservations and it's right next to the page of cups as well so i need to clarify this on the whole though libra this individual they do feel really genuinely very good about the connection with you they feel really good about its potential as well clarify the page of cups thank you the high priestess okay Okay, so they could be doing some kind of spiritual research here. I don't know if they are a tower reader or if you're a tower reader uh, or if they're just finding more information through the tarot, you know, trying to see where this connection could go. Queen of Wands off balance, Seven of Cups, Page of Coins. Okay. Keeping their options open confusion a child's childish behavior i don't know what's going on with that seven of cups nine of swords okay probably they they might have a child libra that they're struggling with at this point in time if they do have a child then that that child doesn't respect them at all and they're, they're struggling with that that's what they've got reservations about okay it's like they're definitely into you massively, but they don't know how their child is going to take it, how their child is going to react to you being in their lives. Okay, Nine of Swords, Queen of Wands off balance. They don't see eye to eye with this particular child. Or it could just be that that child is difficult to deal with because that child has got their own problems, you know. That they're difficult to get through. Two of Swords. Making a decision. Eight of 
eight of swords reversed, three of coins reversed. They're saying, I'm not going to let that put me off. I'm not going to let that issue, those problems with that child put me off. It could be you. Maybe you've got difficulties with a child or struggles with a child. Maybe someone's got a child here who's got special needs, additional needs, something like that. But we're seeing, look, I'm not going to, I'm not going to let that put me off. Okay, I know what I want. It's, it's not worth losing this connection over. It's that energy. Okay. What's in their heart towards Libra, please? If that's not a child, then it's someone else around them that requires their attention at this point in time. But still, the answer's the same. They're not going to let that put them off, okay? Or discourage them from pursuing the connection with you. Right, in their heart space. Nine of Wands, the Tower, Three of Swords. Yeah. Um, they wish that things could be easy and simple, but at the moment, it quite frankly isn't. Something's very complicated here with the Tower and the Three of Swords, Nine of Wands. They're learning how to stand up for themselves in a way that is non-abrasive, okay? Clarify the Nine of Wands. What are they defending themselves against? Two of Cups, Off Balance and X, okay? So if they've got a child, then they're defending themselves against the other parent of this child. All right, clarify the Tower. Thank you. <laughs> Six of Wands, Lord of Victory. Yeah, I told you. They're not going to allow that to, to put them off pursuing this connection with you, Libra. All right, th there's no way. Clarify the Three of Swords. Thank you. Moon off balance. Three of Swords off balance. Six of Cups off balance. Yeah, they, they don't believe in allowing the past to define or make choices for their future. Okay, they are coming to that place internally where they're starting to make peace with the past okay they're not completely there yet but they have they are putting in a lot of work and they have put in a lot of work to make peace with their past there, there could also be some kind of childhood trauma here as well that's taken up space in their heart okay that, that's causing them some grief some ongoing grief moon off balance that tells me libra that this person is going to be honest with you at some point however right now this early into the relationship or connection they feel that it's a little bit too soon to be putting that on you you know uh, i can't remember who else had something similar to that I think it was one of the earth signs that had a, an, an energy that came out of their read that was really similar to that. It was like where someone didn't want a trauma dump on the other person, you know, because they didn't want to come across as them just making excuses, basically. Okay. Clarify this person's challenge. Thank you. The Hierophant in reverse. A divorce, possibly? is coming out as a challenge with the Hierophant in reverse because a Hierophant in reverse can be about broken promises. It could also be about leaving um, a certain religion, okay? So if this, if this person or maybe you have got a set religion, that's presenting as a bit of a challenge because the, the belief systems that the user are both coming from are not shared. Okay, Hierophant in reverse. But again, that doesn't mean to say that it's a deal breaker. It absolutely is not a deal breaker. High Priestess and Five of Swords. They're determined to find ways through these particular problems as and when they crop up. Okay, so again, finally, I think it's only you and Sagittarius, Libra, this month that have had a good reading that has not been a total shit show with an absolute idiot on the other end. Like, honestly, there's been so many games being played, childish behaviours, unreasonable behaviours, you know, deliberately hurting the other person that's been going on in the other reads. Like, honestly, when I say it's a shit show, it's been an absolute shit show. You you and Sag are the only ones who are getting these reads come through where you're actually dealing with a decent, honourable human being, you know. So good for you, okay, because this person's saying, do you know what, I don't care what challenges come up, we're going to face them and we are going to face them together, okay. <laughs> finally, finally, a grown-up adult relationship. Beautiful. I'm genuinely happy for you, Libra. Like, for real. 
Okay, what actions will they take towards Libra, please? Whoa. Okay, so you've got this one as well. Four of Wands and the Empress. Yeah, they're deadly serious about you, Libra. Seven of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Oof. Lovely. Yeah. This person is very passionate towards you, Libra. Very much so. You've got a potential engagement here that's coming up for you guys later on down the line. Okay? Making things more official. Which, again, is absolutely amazing. I told you that they challenges, they issues or problems were not going to be deal breakers. And it's right there. Not a deal breaker at all. Seven of Cups, yeah. Finding new ways to solve problems and solving them like together. It's a different Seven of Cups in this deck. It's different from the traditional one where it's one individual who is picking between like seven different options, you know, seven different things in the cups. This is a different energy because it's two people working together. One of them is reading the map and the other one's pointing over there, over there. That's where I want us to go. You're going to be working with this person as an actual partner, as a respected partner. I mean, it's fantastic. Four of Wands, solid foundation, community, celebrations, engagement. Reaching a milestone, and you're reaching milestones together as well. Choosing together what happens next in this relationship. It's beautiful. And then, of course, your Ace of Wands is your overall energy. Yeah. Lots of passion. Lots of fire. Working together to keep that spark going. It's beautiful. If this is um, an ongoing connection that you have with someone, then it tells us that there is new inspiration and new hope. And a new sense of adventure and fun that is entering into your pre-existing relationship. If this is a brand new relationship, then it's saying that there is constantly going to be that renewal of newness that comes into the relationship. Because you know how sometimes some connections can become a bit old and stale and, you know, a bit samey and blasé. That's not one of these types of connections. It's going to be refreshed constantly. Yeah, look. Unity and love. I cannot make it up. Unity and love. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace and hope. Exactly. Ace of Wands as your overall energy. You radiate and attract great love. Yeah. So indulge yourself. Libra, absolutely indulge yourself in all of this love. Love surrounds all of your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. Yeah. And then the world. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. So you've got love, possibilities, attraction, divine understanding, renewal, hope, peace in all areas of your life, Libra. Wow. <laughs> like, genuinely, the, all of the other Zodiacs are going to be wishing that this reading was this. <laughs> like, for real. Honestly, I cannot emphasize how much of a shit show the love reads have been this month. It's been chaos. Um, you've dodged all that chaos, though, Libra. Like, for real. Keep, keep your open mind, okay, with this world energy. Because that can indicate um, <clears throat> needing to be flexible as well, all right? Needing to meet these new possibilities head on with an open mind and without being uh, rigid, okay? So if you're one of these stubborn type Libras, stop laughing. They do exist. <laughs> they are a thing. Um, if, if you are one of these rare, stubborn type Libras, then being more flexible this month is going to be very beneficial for you. Okay, so like you can't be too stuck in your ways. Do you know what I mean? 
because this world energy is like uh, an opening up of possibilities so you have to be flexible so that you can pick and choose what opportunities you're going to grab do you know what i mean and, and which ones you're just going to go back to later on okay what else for libra please Right, um, also I do need to warn you as well that if you're not into swearing or sarcasm then you don't have to listen, okay? I just like to use these cheeky decks at the end of a reading because I genuinely feel that it can help to uplift the energies at the end of a read, especially where the read has been quite heavy, you know? You didn't get a heavy read, but I still want you to walk away from the read with a smile on your face anyway, okay? Right, vibrate so high that toxic people will fall back because they no longer know how to approach you. Yeah, yeah, Libra, that's exactly what's called all of this in. It's because you're no longer a vibrational match for anyone who is just going to be in your life to cause you trouble, drama and chaos. You're not a vibrational match for them at all. That's why you're seeing all of this growth and success coming in. Okay. It's all of that hard work that you've done on yourself is paying off. And you're seeing evidence of that in your love life. And the, the types of people that you're now attracting into your love life. Okay. Uh, know how you can tell that you're on some hardcore personal growth. Your perspective gets bigger and your inner circle gets smaller. Yeah, so don't worry if certain people start falling away. Okay, Libra. It may be that people who want to gossip will quit texting when you stop talking shit. If you're busy manifesting your dreams, keeping your side of the street clean and working on those old gnarly wounds that people often want to avoid in themselves. Some people are bound to disappear, so be kind to yourself and to others as you outgrow people and places. Yeah. Yeah. You're outgrowing a lot of things at this point in time, Libra, and it shows. It, it's showing in your love energies as clear as day. Right, so that is what I have for you guys. If you feel that a personal reading that is catered more towards your own specific needs is going to be beneficial for you, then I am taking bookings on my website, which is phoenixkiataro.com. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go check out your other signs and the daily reads as well, because there could be something useful there for you. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.